This is why you never give up, guys. This is why. Oh, wait, no, no, no. All right, guys, welcome back to Chess with Cody and Road to 2000. So the first episode of the series, we did a review of a game I played off camera. Today, we're doing our very first live game, our live play and explain. Let's get into it. So I haven't played 15, 10 games in a very long time. I, ha I played three a few months ago, like back in March. And like prior to that, like I hadn't played in like forever. So um, my rating right now, it says it's 1750 ish. Yeah, I would guess my true rating right now is probably somewhere in the 16 to seven, low 17. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Opponent is 1707. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I, I expect I might lose the first couple of games of this series, and that's going to dip me down. Uh, but then we're going to rise back up to... I think I can get to 1800 fairly quickly because I was previously at that level. Um, but then from there, it's going to be a battle and a process for me to continually learn and improve and actually get better at chess. And that's the point of this series. So if you want to catch that, then make sure to like and subscribe. So we have a Roy Lopez here. And also in these games, I want to make it a little bit more beginner friendly as well. So um, every game, guys, you want to fight for the center. You want to develop the knights and bishops. And you want to castle and get your king safe. If you don't fight for the center, then your position become can become very cramped and awkward and weak. Um, so that's why you got to fight for it. Um, so I think the two main moves in this position. So this is called the Berlin defense, I believe. Um, you know, I'm not an expert on the precise move orders in this opening, but um, I've played um, various orders, various move orders in the past, and it's all been fine. Now, after Black plays this pawn, they've created the potential for this pin. And in this position, I call these forever pins, where my bishop is outside of my pawn chain. So once they get their bishop here, I can never relieve the pressure. And this can become very awkward, very uncomfortable. So I almost always play h3 in these positions. Um, there are some downsides to this move. So in general, it could become what's called like a hook, or that's what Daniel Naraditsky calls it, um, into my position where maybe later Black will create like a battery like this and then maybe sacrifice on this pawn and get some counterattacking ideas. Uh, so it's not all good, but in general, I find that this is much easier than dealing with um, this pin. So the game plan from here, guys, we're going to try to develop all of our minor pieces. Um, so I still need to develop this bishop. Let's go here. I could go to g5. It, sometimes this can be a little bit sketchy because once they move their knight, um, they would have a battery on this bishop. Uh, so it's not an issue right now because I don't know that they have a good knight move. But, you know, sometimes that can be a, bit, a little bit problematic. Now, because they haven't played h6 themselves, I could antagonize this bishop, um, although then my knight's kind of on a bad square. Um, so first, let's let's get the queen off the back rank. Which square is better? I think d2 is better. So usually, guys, you want to make sure to find a safe square for your queen. So if I go queen d2, uh, this knight might come and antagonize me at some moment. So that's why I chose uh, queen d2. Might not matter here, but you know these are things to think about. Normally in the Roy Lopez, when they attack you, uh, you just back up. Actually, that's kind of true in general when you have the bishop on this diagonal attacking the knight. That's usually your default, is you should default to backing up, especially if there's like an existing pin. Like if the queen was still, if the queen was on this square and I had a nice pin or something, uh, usually you want to back up and preserve the pin. So yeah, this is a common idea in the Roy Lopez. They want to get rid of my bishop. So I see two possible ideas. So I could come after their bishop. Um, I could take their bishop and double their pawns. Um, although having doubled pawns in the center like this actually isn't too bad, and it would open the F file for their rook. I can also just completely ignore this and just castle one way or the other. A uh, question to you guys, which way, if we were to castle, which way should you go? Should you go queen side or should you go king side?
I think the answer is definitely kingside because Black's pawns are pretty close to knocking on your door, and uh, that's not good for long-term king safety. I just realized this knight move doesn't really work because after they take, they are attacking my queen. Well, actually, wait, maybe it will because... So then if we take... Okay, okay, so here's the move word. Knight here, they take us, we take them, they take us, we take them. Then the question is, do they have a good move with this knight? Uh, can they get it to safety? And do they have a good move? I don't think so. Uh, it's kind of chaotic though. Let, let's um, let's just play simply. Let's remove this bishop, and now their knight is a little bit misplaced. And at some moment, if we move this knight, we're gonna have an X-ray. Um, so yeah, everything seems pretty normal. So now it's time to castle. And now we've completed the development. So all of my pieces are out. Uh, actually, there's one more step, which is we want to bring the rooks to files that we think will open open up as the game progresses. Um, so yeah, the last two steps of completing the development are number one, getting the queen off of the back rank so that the rooks are connected. And then number two, putting the rooks on open files. Uh, or semi-open files, which means there's no pawns. So black's rook is on a semi-open file since there's no black pawn in the way, um, which is uh, rooks like the open and the semi-open files because otherwise they can't move, right? So like this rook can't move this way because my pawn's in the way. Okay, so they're maybe thinking about routing uh, their queen out this way. Uh, this pawn's a little tender though, so I'm considering this move. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna play knight to g5. Um, one reason is because I wanna hit this pawn. Another is because I actually wanted to move this knight anyways so that I could play f4 because I wanna open up my f file. So yeah, I don't see any reason not to play f4 here. If they attack us, we just retreat. So yeah, this knight move was uh, able to make the queen come to kind of a passive square, at least for the moment. Now, I do also need to be careful that uh, uh, careful of this square on g3 because the square is very weak um, and undefended. And so, like, right now they could jump in here. And for right now, it's okay. I mean, they, they would be hitting my knight, or sorry, my rook. Um, but, you know, if I, like, did some other stuff, they might get, like, a fork at some moment. So I think we probably take here, though, actually, because... Um, we have we have sufficient defense after we take our bishop is going to be defending the the knight here um they can maybe no they can't jump in because yeah so after we take and they take then they're going to have weak doubled pawns for the rest of the game so let's play that so now the question is now what now what how do we make progress here okay this might be a little risky I'm going to go king h2 because I want to reduce the, I want to control the g3 square and reduce any like infiltration ideas. I consider, I mean, you could trade here, but then they just recapture and then they're on the file. Uh, I mean, then you could also come back and then, I don't know, they take and then your king comes to the open file. It's, it's playable. Uh, okay. Yeah. I forgot that they could do this. <laughs> um, Although I considered this earlier, but on my last move, I forgot about this. Um, so I can also play g3 here. I think actually this might have been partly why I wanted to do this. I'm, I'm kind of blanking, but <laughs> got a little bit of a little haze tonight, a little brain fog. But well, actually, do I just go up a pawn here, though? So it takes. Takes. Ooh, no, because there's an in-between move there. So uh, tell me what happens after this guy. So after. Um, Bishop takes, pawn takes. Let's say you try to take with the rook. Black has a good move there. To win material. It would be bishop takes. Skewering the rook and the queen. Okay, I'm going to play g3. Um, You know, my king safety is not the best here. Uh long term because you know a piece might be able to infiltrate on this file um you 
Yeah, so also guys like general, you know, general strategy. So I mentioned like complete the development, get all the pieces out, uh, and then what, right? So like at this phase of the game, it's about locating your opponent's weaknesses, uh, identifying your own weaknesses, trying to remove, trying to remove your weaknesses, trying to attack theirs, uh, trying to create some threats on the king. Um, oh wow, I can't believe I just blundered that. That's so bad by me. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I, I guess it's not a total blunder. Okay, so I can I can take this way with the pawn. Okay. Let's regroup. Whenever you guys make a mistake, uh, it's okay. And you just got to regroup as quickly as you can and try to put up maximal effort. So let's see what can we do here. Um, I think we definitely take like this. But now I think I am winning a pawn because... Okay, so what happens here is takes. It's gonna be a lot of arrows, guys. Are you ready? Takes, takes. Uh, queen goes here to pin my rook to my king, adding an attacker. But then my king goes to g3, adding a defender. Uh, oh, but then they have uh, they have g5 in that position. Oh man, I hope you guys followed that. I can show you after the game, maybe. Uh, because my so my rook would be pinned there, and then they win it with the pawn. Takes 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 queen here oh but i could also go no knight adding a defender doesn't work because they they just have they have g5 so they're able to pin it and win it dang oh uh, then if they cement this though that's like so strong for the rest of the game having these protected pass pawn all right, probably not going to be a W on this one, guys. So yeah, my king safety is the issue here. So I guess I can't take. Uh, they're probably going to push this, though. And that, so where can I put my bishop? I guess let's try and be annoying. Uh, then they also have these discovery attacks on my queen, though. Although I guess, I guess their bishop's undefended for the moment. So I'm going to play this. I'm getting a little low, a little low on the clock. So I'm going to try to play with a little more pace. Okay, I'm also going to stack my rooks. So they, they're they they're kind of preparing to stack, although they can't because my bishop controls this for the moment. They also, so they're moving their knight. They're also getting out of, getting out of my x-ray attack, which has been sitting there for quite a while. So if I go here, they can, they can trap me if I do that. If I go here, uh, I'm not trapped right away but they can prepare to trap me um but then maybe then maybe i'll come to the long diagonal um so yeah where am i going to put this bishop i could come back here but then after that i feel very stuck i mean i can't like i'd like to just trade it off maybe but i i can't oh but actually wait this this plan doesn't work because if they go here and i go here this is a fork a lot of arrows sorry guys <laughs> i hope that makes sense though <laughs> uh okay i might have to defend like this yeah this was a really good night move by by them i could also just come like all the way back but i mean at that point the bishop's like more in the way than it is useful probably but all right so yeah we're going queen and uh, right after I said I was going to play faster, I took like two minutes. So <laughs> classic. One additional challenge of the series is that uh, commentating and explaining definitely, I would say it drops my ELO like 100 points probably if I had to guess. Um, it is harder to explain and play than to just play. Hmm, queen there. I don't know if I agree with that. I can maybe do something like this, although then this becomes dangerous. I can also just get bishop here. And they can't push right away. So then maybe I can push and help keep this pawn a little bit weaker for longer. All right, I'm going to play. I, I don't know if this is right or not. Um, this pawn is a little uh, finicky because if they push... Uh, they can't do it right now. I, I can just take, but um, you know, I'm thinking like maybe I want to get some sort of 
something else going on. I need some sort of counterplay here. Um, otherwise, Black's just going to like slowly grind me down. And um, uh, so yeah, now they can play here. I have to move the knight, and then they scoop this pawn. OK, they didn't, they didn't see it. <laughs> cool. Good for us. I also need to be careful about this. Um, but right now, this is the stopping that. Well, let's get the, the last rook into the game and finally complete the development. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Let's start with that. So they're threatening now to pin it and win it. Um, let's just really control my own second rank so that that's not an option. Um, I should probably push. I think they should probably push to solidify this, although then their bishop becomes kind of passive. I might also, I need to like, okay, where do I, where's a safe place for the knight? I actually might come back here to help defend this because I don't know where else the knight goes. All right, I'm going to play it for the sake of time. Back to its safe, its home, its home square. It's safe space. <laughs> this is not ideal, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, it is actually kind of clutch for uh, controlling the square. So, oh, although they can probably win it by doing this, though, I just realized. Oh, man. Okay, they didn't see it. Nice. Good job, us. Okay, and now they're threatening to win this pawn because they're shielding my defense of it. Um, that's okay. You can do that. I'm going to come after your bishop. And now I'm going to be a little annoying over here. Oh, I forgot they could take that one. Okay. Well. So yeah, they have a bit of an extra here, which might be problematic for for us or them, it kind of depends on when the moment arises. Um, oh, so they're maybe going to bring this guy in. Hmm. OK, I need to just move. Actually, no, sorry, that doesn't work because uh, I forgot my queen is defended in this position. It's not like my qu so th their queen is hanging. My queen is not. So if I win this game, it says I get plus 43. <laughs> Because I haven't played in so long. And if I lose, I get minus 62. So this is high stakes. I'm like in Suksavank. I have like no moves. Oh, maybe. Ooh, queen here looks pretty good. So I'm adding pressure here. Uh, they can force the trade, though, since my rick would be pinned to my king. And if you guys have any questions on the game, any any spots where you would have done something differently, just comment below. Um, I'm, I'm hoping this series will be very educational and helpful for for you and for me so i can't do this they can just take and my rook would be stuck so um i could go rook back if they push i think we're okay but if i take their rook infiltrates then it's just kind of good for them so let's go let's go rook here and now i am actually threatening to take this pawn because ooh, actually Actually, wait, maybe I'm not. <laughs> because once I, if this works goes, then this work is hanging. A lot of, uh, a lot of tactics this game. So I have roughly two minutes on the clock. There is a 10 second increment. So every move I get 10 seconds added back, which is nice. But I do have to play pretty swift from here forward. So I could take with Rook, Knight, or Queen. They all have problems. Let's take with the rook. The problem with this is they can push. Um, but I'm threatening this pawn now. So, you know, they defend that pawn. Um, let's probably defend our own pawn. I really want to get the. Well, OK, I could also go here with the knight. I need to get the knight like in the game. Let's do this. If they push, yeah, we're still OK. Yeah, let's do this. 
So now, like, maybe later I can block this bishop and threaten this pawn. Um, I'm defending this for the moment. I'm, I plan to solidify it further soon. I don't know if that's a good move. That He might have back rank issues later. Okay, let's, let's just try and improve the position. So this is defending my weakness. Remember, I was talking about weaknesses, guys. So this was previously... It was defended by the knight, but we'd like to free up the knight to do other things. So this is called overprotection, where I have two things protecting this pawn, which now frees up either one of them to do something in the future. Yeah, I think if they do nothing, I go knight uh, g5, which also attacks this pawn. Um, so I think they'd probably have to like, uh, I guess they could push there though. Yeah, and then that solidifies this. So, I mean, they could push right now. I don't know why they're hesitant to... Um, ooh, there's almost like a fork here, and then they take, but like, yeah. I, I was thinking about like, oh, maybe I can set something up on like this bishop, or or like after, if I go here, then... Okay, so yeah, they prevented this. Okay, I just got the one minute warning. Um, that's a really good move by them. That really shuts out like... Ugh, then they can just kind of come after my pawns. All right, well, I, I just got to move. I considered this. The problem is, like, maybe they come here or something, and then my rook is loose. Then there, maybe, I don't know. They push. Uh, I can't leave the knight because the knight, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty gross. So I think this is going to be our first loss of the series. Um... Which is honestly probably good. It would have been kind of uh, lame if like my rating shot up like just because I won two games randomly, even though I'm still like very very rusty right now. So this will give us a nice low point to uh, jump off from. So yeah, I think now I go for this. So this is still defended. Oh no, this is just a blunder. They just take, and they if I take, they take. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I, so after they should take here, and then um, I take here probably. Um, you know, I need to hope, for, pray for like some sort of back rank miracle. Um, do I have any other in between moves after they take here? I don't think so. Like this doesn't do anything. They could just like solidify. If they find that move, guys, it's uh, it's pretty much game over. Yep. Yep. Oh, although, okay. I can, let's do this actually. Uh, okay, they should push the pawn. Like they're for sure super winning here. Uh, but I'm gonna try to push this and like, you know, maybe there's, you know, objectively, like I said, there's not very much hope here. We're gonna play a few more moves and uh, hope for a miracle. I have come back from uh, some pretty crazy positions before, so. Don't uh don't count it out. And I encourage you guys to do the same. So like, you know, okay, this game is probably losing, but you know, it's also an opportunity for some brilliance, right? So right, okay, they back up to there. Um let's say I go here. And they should just push, I think. Push, and then if I block, they go here, and then I I can't even go back there, they take, so. Um, ooh, I can almost take, if they didn't have the bishop, I could take and there'd be a back rank, uh, tactic. Um, okay, let's go here, attacking and attacking and defending. I forgot that that was a thing. Okay, well, only one move. Maybe Rick here. That's, ooh, that might be GG. How do I stop that? If I take, yeah, I think it's game over. If I take, uh, they go check down here, I block, and then they just take, and I'm losing all my pieces. Um, Oh, well, okay, when I take with the rook, though, my queen guards this square. Uh, okay. This is so sus. <laughs> I mean, they could get like a perpetual, uh, they, they should probably just go here. Well, actually, no, they shouldn't. Well, I, I would love it if they did, but, uh, 
So yeah, these are you know they still got the back rank issues here. It's still they could still mess up. You know, you, you get tunnel vision and you're like, oh, White's almost made it. I'm about to mate them, or like you do this because you're like, oh, I got the checkmate or something, and nope. That's that's just how chess is, man. It's like one little mistake just can be catastrophic at any moment. Really, I, I got him right where I want him, really, you know, if you think about it. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah, how do you... Well, okay, and if you do this, though... Oh, you go there. Um... So yeah, I'm not afraid of perpetuals here. Oh, okay, but then they push. Okay, yeah, no, I think this is the move. So I'm threatening to take and then mate. So they can push and threaten mate themselves. Okay, we got a chance here, guys. There's a chance. Like, I mean, they. I think they'll see this. Um. But, yeah, even, I think actually this... I think this is winning because after I take and I take, they push and it's, I think, game over. Um, so yeah, if they put, oh, but if they push, I have this, but then they go bishop back. So I'm looking at a push, check, bishop back. I don't think I have, I mean, I take and they recapture and I check and they, they can just block and be okay. Sorry, that's a lot of arrows again. But this is an exciting moment. Also, like, if I get a chance somehow, <laughs> I could get a fast spot over here. Um, okay, queen there. Interesting. Interesting queen there. Wait, no, we just won. This is why you never give up, guys. This is why. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. Okay, wait, queen takes. <laughs> I was thinking king has to take. Okay, yeah, queen takes. Uh, okay, I have 15 seconds. Let's push. They can, I don't think they can leave this rook. So maybe we get like some attacking thing here. Um, yeah. What if I push? Well, okay. I don't. I don't think it matters which way. They're in trouble. I mean, they can get a draw. Like they just want like perpetuals. So. Um, and if they do the wrong check or something, then, bang, we get them. You know, there's there's traps all around here. We're just, we're on the ropes here. We're just dodging the punches. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, check. Um, let's just come up. Oh, they go queen here. Oh no, I should have gone queen here, uh, king there because they get a forced trade now. Dang, well played. Well, I should have been thinking about what happens if they check me here. Oh, they didn't see it or they didn't go for it. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, I can block. So they're skewering to win here. Um, but so if I move my king, they win my queen. So I got to go here. Only move. Wow, this is a pretty lit first game of the of the journey. Yeah, I think I just come back now. I'm still. Oh. I mean, that's my only move. Um, I guess you can push, maybe. So if you push, I think I go rook here, and I don't see the follow up. Um, I'm and and these pawns might be relevant, guys. Okay, you push, I go here. I'm threatening to just win this pawn. So like if you try to come in, I just take. Uh you don't have any checks because I'm I got my rook here. Um although, okay, yeah, if you do this, I do this. How you like me now? Oh, you have this check though. And then I come up. Okay, only move. 
Okay, the bishop's endangered. Probably bishop takes here. Um, okay, that also makes sense. Um, the problem now is my rook isn't on the good file anymore for the mating threat. Oh, I can't go here. I get forked by the pawn. Uh, if he checks me with the rook... Oh, he can't, though. Okay, I'm just going to push. I'm going to try to make a pass pawn and pray. Oh, I also I forgot that this is defended. So this might not have been good. So I thought this, was, this pawn was, like, hanging, and that after queen takes, I could push this one. Um, but now I guess I push... Probably. If I take, just queen takes. So yeah, I think we push. And push and pray. What a battle. You guys thought it was over. Right? I kind of thought it was over. Um, okay, probably we run. Uh, okay, this so they're they're bit so they can like check here because the bishop. Uh, then I run. So yeah, and if they check with the rook here, um, I don't see a finish though. But I also need to make sure I need to try to avoid them forcing like a queen trade. Uh, so like, ooh, for example, I don't want to go up here because they could queen trade me there. Oh, but now actually maybe I. Oh, no, no, because, yeah, then they could queen trade me here. Well, I don't know, though, but then is that winning? Well, I also don't want them. I don't want to go here and let them bring the bishop in there. So, OK, so, yeah, they can force the queen trade, but then I'm going to have this pass pawn and they might have to. Um, OK. Uh, this is kind of sketchy for me to go this way. Um, rook check, I go here. Okay, well we gotta we gotta send it. I got twenty seconds, <laughs> so <laughs> gotta pray. Uh, they are defending their diagonal to their king now, so I'm not gonna have any checks like this for the moment. Uh, man, this pawn's getting close. My king is gonna help aid it. You never know, guys. You never know. We could also potentially try to do this at some point. So this is a very common tactic with uh, promoting a pawn is you get a pawn on the seventh. Then you put a rook here, which is aided by the pawn to create a shield so that then you can promote the pawn. The problem is though, I don't want to leave my rook hanging um, with the open board and the queen, you know, that probably gets picked off. So I need to figure out like some sort of way to like try and stay connected. Ooh, this is a pretty good combo. I do that one, two, and then I'm going to win this maybe. Um, and the beauty of that is my queen and my rook stay connected at all times. Ooh, actually, I just realized if I jump in, they go here maybe. And that might be nighty night for me. Uh, although then I take the pawn. No, yeah, I get mated. And then they go check. I go here. Then this would be mate. Uh, oh, that's my only move. Okay. Oh, and I have two seconds. Oh, my God. Okay. So dumb by me. But yeah, they have... They have four. Yeah, that's... Uh, ooh, although if I push, I think I give myself a square to escape. Okay. I have 30 seconds now. Uh, I mean, good plan by them. You know, they took they took a lot of time there, but, you know, they put a good plan in place, and I almost lost on time um, like a fool. Okay, we're threatening checkmate here. Uh, here, bishop. Okay, I think we can go here. They might... Oh no, we're still th we're threatening mate. Oh well, yeah, no, they can't take this. So they could they could sack it this way though. But no, they can't though, because yeah, after takes takes. No, yeah, never mind. So they need to deal with this. I think they need to move. 
this pawn. Um, how do we create a further threat in that position? I think then we need to... Oh, and they, they have tension on this. Um, okay, I have 30 seconds to come up with a plan in this position. Fifteen seconds. It's so hard to come up with the move here. Okay, I'm gonna go here and then here and then create this threat if if it works out. Or so yeah, once I get to here, then I can like do this, or I could come all the way back. Uh, the problem is though, once I'm here, the rook is undefended, um, but they don't have any checks at the moment. Um, I think they should maybe like push or something oh the okay yeah and they can't check here because i have this covered double covered but if i go rook here and they go check then i take ooh, and then they could skewer and win the queen oh i did not consider this move well done by my opponent oh but what if i if i sack takes check here push whoa whoa Oh god, okay, I have one second. I think it works. You ha he has to take only move. Uh we recapture and then we promote. Uh who check. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I mean it's not over. They could still get like a perpetual. Um but and we can still mess up. But we have the upper hand. Let's go. Let's go. They resigned! Oh my god. Wow. What a start to the series. Oh my god. If you guys like that, drop a like on the video. That was a pretty strong one. Um, okay, I'm going to click game review. I'm not going to go into depth on this one. Wow. Wow. That's why you never give up, guys. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep trying to find, work with what you got, regroup. Let's go. Let's go. So what are they? Okay. Yeah, taking you double their pawns, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I feel like this move by them probably questionable. I think they should probably have just taken here to like undouble their pawns. My guess. Which was, I mean, that's computer says that's the best move. Yeah, here's where I was very stuck. So they want to knight back. So yeah, the knight, the knights. Oh, that's good because then you're then you're attacking this pawn. Because um, yeah, the knight is kind of a little you know tender here, a little sensitive. Uh, there's like these dependencies and stuff. Yeah, so I did kind of blunder here. So. Instead, I probably should have just gone knight back. I, I was worried about like long term, like, I don't know, queen getting in and like stuff over here with the knight because this is a very strong uh, sort of outpost for the knight. Um, but yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have just gone knight back. Yeah, that's what computer says. Yeah, so they wanted me to fix the weakness here, which also makes sense to me uh, because then this pawn is just going to be weak long term. Okay. So yeah, they did say bring bishop back here, but uh, you know, long term, I don't know what you do with it from there. So okay. Yeah, I mean, you can see the eval bar now here. So blacks up four points in terms of a uh, position. Uh, not looking great for me. Okay. Wow, what's yeah, I I definitely felt like they should have pushed here. Like this looks really strong. And they get the rook behind it. Cause yeah, when you once you push, I can't take, so I need to move my rook and then like they can do this, and then I gotta like come back or like 
Not looking good. Not looking good. Um, okay, so here's the game. Yeah, I also really don't agree with this move to the corner. I mean, you, you get rid of any potential checks on this square in the future, but um, that seems like a better problem than to have like per, like back rank issues forever, in my opinion. But it is it is close. I mean, I understand the, the urge. Okay, so this was a mistake. What else do I do here, though? Uh, knight d2? Nah, too passive. I mean, you can never come here because it severs the protection. Uh, what else do they want? King King G2? Nah. H4? Nah. I like my move. Overruled. I overruled the computer. I mean, they say it's terrible. Oh, wait, no, no. Sorry, sorry. My move. Yeah, yeah. This was the blunder. <laughs> okay. This was the blunder. Good job by my opponent. Uh, I assume they realized it was a blunder. So, yeah, I can't take because then they uh, win my rook and I'm down a rook and it's game over. Um, so, okay. I take it back. Uh, computer. Yeah, I like... For some reason they didn't like this move though. Why, why not this one? This one looks good. I guess you have no prospects for the the knight after this, because then like, let's say I don't know, queen goes here. You can never you can never go here, or you can't right away. But yeah, I don't know. All right. Now here, guys, this was the moment. Okay, I really messed up. I'm down a rook here, five points. Number one strategy, go for the king. Okay, so that's that's the first thing I tried to set up. So let's set up a mating threat. Let's try to get some tactics going. Let's do that. And then, you know, it's not always going to work. Like, you're, the simplest mating threat thing isn't going to always work right away, right? But you, you keep creating those threats. So, okay, I create another threat. Okay, they had to deal with it. Okay, I'm creating another threat. They have to deal with it. And eventually... Because of these other threats, they might blunder a mate, you know? That's that's just how these things go. Um, so play continues here. I really didn't like this rook move. Um, oh, but it is hard to, like, how do you... I guess you got to go... I think you go g6. Yeah, computer says g6 here. You got to create space for yourself so there's no more back rank issues. Um, cause I thought, oh, maybe you go here to defend the back rank, but it doesn't work cause that we still sack and then, uh, white wins. So yeah, in lieu of not seeing G6, uh, their move makes sense. Um, but then, yeah, this was such a strong threat. Um, but I think again, they just play They should play G6 here. Cause after, so this is what I thought in the game. So then here, but then Bishop G7 and then what takes. I mean, oh, I guess maybe you get a perpetual. No, computer says no. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's see that the end of this. So, um, so yeah. Now black. Okay. So black found a really nice defense here, where now if we take with the rook, they're gonna take with the queen, and everything's chilling for them. Um, but this means that the queen actually can't leave this diagonal. So I was like, all right, let me start. Let me try to make these pawns make some magic happen. Okay, they start checking us. Missed win. Um, why? So best move here was F3. F3, that's kind of cra crazy. F3, I take. Queen D1. Oh, yeah, because then the skewer tactic comes up. So yeah, after F3, like let's say I go here. Queen C2 check. Okay, they're just going to kind of... Oh, yeah, I think eventually they're going to get some, like, mating ideas, potentially. So. And, I mean, I was lucky that I had this rook move. I mean, I did I did not see this skewer. So I, that was just pure luck. Made in 35, according to the engine. Do you guys see it? It took me a couple seconds, but no, I'm just kidding. I don't see it. <laughs> And actually, guys, we hit a new rating high, 1812. I mean, this is this one doesn't count because it's like I haven't played in forever. So, you know, I got 40 points for that win. Uh, so let's not count my rating for like 10, 10 games or so. Uh, OK, sorry, did I, I miss something in here? Let's see. OK, yeah, so this was. I think my opponent just overlooked that I could just take this pawn now. Um, or like, yeah, so this combo, they thought this was going to be strong, but actually I think that's just not, they shouldn't play it yet. Well, computer says F3 is good, but 
Uh, oh, I guess then then now you you probably need to defend with the rook. Uh, oh, computer says rook a8. So creating maybe some mating threats or something. Okay, I like it. Um, but yeah, now in this position, like we need to somehow create the threat. So we can't create the same. We don't really have like any mating threats here. So that's why I was like, all right, let's try to make these pawns happen, man. Um, and it would have been, I think, a, a big mistake to take here because then black recaptures and now everything's so much more simple. We don't have a clear mating threat. Um, like this would have just been a disaster from a swindle perspective, I think. Um, uh, cause like, what do you do now? I mean, you, you just have nothing. Like you try to bring the Rick here or something like there's just, there's just nothing going on. So, um, definitely have to push here mandatory. That's the only move in my opinion. And yeah, they're chasing us, but it's an open board and I didn't really see how they were going to checkmate us. Um, and I thought if they did this rook move, like, okay, yeah, we just step in and then the rook's loose. I'm like, what are they going to do? Um, but then I realized, and they played this in the game, is once they come to this file, um, if I had taken, do you guys remember what the mate was that I, oh, there wasn't a mate. I didn't realize my queen would be defending. So the mate, I, th I thought there was a mate because I thought they could check me here. And then the only move would be this. And then this would be checkmate. So that's what I was trying to draw with all the arrows in the game. Um, but in reality, okay, but they also say this is a, a blunder though. Why is that? Uh, queen, queen a7. Oh, and then they're going to win the queen. Bink. So yeah, you see on the, the open board with the, qu the queen, like anything that's loose and undefended is just, it's going to fall off eventually. So um, yeah, but I, I saw that, okay, I can push and I create a little escape square for myself. And yeah, computer likes my move. So yeah, this is just getting closer. So we're defending here. Uh, we're defending here. We're setting up for, you know, maybe somehow I can get the rook over or something like that. Um, why do they hate this so much? Oh my, I could have just taken the queen. Did you guys see that? Wow. I just take the queen here. Oh my God. I can't even believe they played that and I didn't see that. Wow. I just like took their word for it, you know? uh bishop g7 they say they say bishop g7 and it's everything's chilling somehow eh, i don't know okay yeah and then we found so this was just we found a nice tactic this was if yeah i mean this is pretty hard to see as black um and in lieu of this tactic this is a really good move because i have to um, well, I can't really go here. They're gonna take and win my queen. Um, so I have to like run away and then they like take. Oh, they don't they don't like that. Oh no, then they get mated. Wait, yeah, what do you do? Um, what was the move? I guess I guess this or uh yeah, then you did wait no no. Move is queen c6 check. Okay, you keep checking me or whatever. So yeah, we found the great tactic. That allowed us to promote. So remember when I said the pawns over on the side of the board might be relevant. We might be able to make some magic happen. The magic happened and they resigned. And that was a glorious victory. One of my one of my favorites, I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot.